We in this hole. Episode is this forty? We don't fucking know. I can look real quick. We don't know. <laughs> we back in this hole. Let me look at our text messages. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Off the Lick motherfucking podcast. It's your boy King Emery. We got Lizzie with the Glizzy. And Lizzie with the Glizzy brought us a guest. You want to talk to the people? Hi. <laughs> Girl. I'm just kidding. I thought you you got to switch the camera. camera. I'll, I'll, it's can you tell the people your name? Do you hold this? Yeah. It's Adana. Adana, you feel me? We in this hole. Back. Before we start the show, mind you, Lizzie with the Glizzy. <laughs> we over here dropping stuff. All right, my bad, y'all. Let's take this shot because we off, off the leak, man. Let's get, it. Let's get this shot Cheers. in real quick, real quick, real quick. Oop, oop. <laughs> What got stuck, y'all? Oh. Anyways, without further ado, let's start the show. Oh, and the folks are asleep, I can't fight it. Locked in my mood, I feel like I'm indicted. Bar turning cold, and I think that I like it. Look at my drip, got these holes on the side. They tried to kill me, the fire ignited, and I beat the. And we back with the Off the Lick motherfucking podcast, and we're gonna get to the first motherfucking topic because we off, off the, the league man so we, we're gonna t- okay so we always have to do this we off the um i can't speak right now hold on so we always have to show our guests what we do so when we take a shot or if you ever hear any of us say because <clears throat> we're about to say we're off the lick the lick yeah the lick. Say because? because uh and we normally say, say because it. we off the lick because we off the lid. That's all you gotta say though, because I'm gonna say we. I'm gonna drag it. You feel me? And when I drag it, y'all oh just God. say off the lid. Quit stepping on my fucking. Shut up! I almost rocked your shit. I got on again. black. I got on black forces right now. <laughs> Did so. you see that connection? Okay, so what is the black forces about? Because I learned about that out here. Oh, it's just a real nigga energy, a real aggressive energy, actually. So yeah. Um, I just don't like to get my shoes. Well, yeah, that too. I mean, you can't really see dirt on the forces. Wait, oh, hey, turn up in this hole. Hold on. <laughs> That's right, what it sound up. like. Wait, what? This the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the like machine yeah. gun and shit. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> Not machine gun. You get hot yeah, up in know. here? That's that liquor so running sorry, through your. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, let's go ahead and get to the first topic. You feel me? You feel me? Oh, by the way, how can they follow you, Sadana? Sadana. Uh, My bad. I'm making up shit. <laughs> My bad. Hey, man. You can follow me on Instagram at Queen Adana Three or Queens in Training Three, which is my dance class. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's get to the first motherfucking topic. We got Lizzie with the Glizzy. With the first topic, go ahead. Why do you be putting people on the spotlight? Why can't you do the first topic? Cause you feel me. Let's I'm go not... one, two, three. All right, all right. Where's my phone at? <laughs> Your phone? Oh shit! Where the fuck it's is it? It's over there. Cause on the couch, underneath that big ugly oh, green. Bro, you was a hater, boy. Burlington couch. <laughs> All right, if I get on them fucked up edges, I'm the nigga. That's, that's fine. Wrong. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say something so mean to you. Let me whisper it to you. No, don't say no it's fuck gonna, shit. It's gonna hurt your don't feelings. I'm no like, shit. wow. <laughs> don't say no fuck shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Let right me here whisper it to you. I don't give a fuck. What, I don't even want to know what it was. It starts with an R. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you what we're doing. All right, all right, all right. Anyway. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but you would have been okay, mad if I okay, said okay. that. Okay. I, I you going to leave me alone? <laughs> Fuck you. Anyways, let's. I, I guess I'll take the first topic since you know. It's so hot now. <laughs> I'm wearing sweatpants, y'all. Look, look at who stepped in the room, you feel me? So we look were, at who it stepped was... in the room. That's why it's so hot in here, you feel me? But yeah, go ahead. My bad. What you were saying? Did you just say it's because I walked in the room? Because I walked in the room. Oh, anyways, no. <laughs> anyways. Oh no, that's not it. Anyways, like I said, so I'm gonna get to the first topic. You feel me? 
No. What, what, what's going on in the world today, you feel me? It's a lot of artists, rappers and shit dying specifically in hip-hop. You look at other genres, you feel me? <clears throat> These other genres, you're not hearing about so many, you know, people, so many Excuse artists me. dying. You just keep hearing about rappers. They mostly all African American. And then you keep on looking at these other genres and they don't have no type of like Fatali you fatalities, know, that's what they call them, right? I'm not gonna say niggas don't die in other genres, but it's just not it's not popular. You're not like opening social media and be like country singer got shot. Um <laughs> because he was around this country singer. You're not hearing that shit. That. Yeah, it's always us black people. <laughs> so do y'all feel like being a rapper is the most dangerous career? Or do you think people are kind of bringing it on themselves by putting themselves in those situations? I'm going to let y'all take it away and I'm going to come back with mine. Okay, I'll just go first. So your question, so I understand, is do you feel as though being a rapper is The most like dangerous deadly? career, yeah. Um, yes and no. And I feel like it kind of always been like that because if any, if y'all know, um, rap is gang affiliated. It can be gang affiliated. And so with that comes obviously the same the same shit that will be on the streets like niggas get killed. But I just feel like when people are in the limelight, it just makes it worse because these are like idols. Like people look up to these people, and you're just like killing them all for whatever fucking reason. That's all I gotta say about that. What you what you think about it? Um, yeah, talking to the mic. I definitely don't think it's the most dangerous just because there's a lot of careers that are very violent, but I will say that um, it is the culture because they are talking about the streets and there is a lot of violence in the black community, but I do believe once you get to a certain level that you are bringing it to yourself because you don't have to operate like that anymore or associate yourself with certain people anymore. I feel like, in my opinion, you want to speak on it? Do you think hip hop is the we most have an off career? Off camera guest. That's why you guys can't see him. Sorry. Bad, no face, no case. It's your man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them why they can follow you too. Go ahead, follow me on the gram. Uh, that man M Dean Ten. Uh, that man M Dean. <laughs> um, I guess my opinion on it is uh, my bad. Say a question one more time. Do you think <laughs> <laughs> this nigga how already? Do you think rap is the most is one of the most dangerous careers? In my opinion, I believe that rap is Sorry. is not so much a, a dangerous career, but it's what you make it. I feel like when it comes, when you really look at the people who's in rap, a lot of people, they're willing to do whatever for, for a dollar. When it comes to rap music, is you get a lot of people from the streets, you get a lot of people from the hood who really just trying to make it out, trying to feed their family. So they're really willing to do whatever. When you get these big old industries, they're really willing to... Who cannot control? If they can control you, it's easy. You feel me? It's easy money. It's easy for them to to get what they got to get about you. Cause at the end of the day, they can squeeze you up for five years, get your good music. Now you gone. They get somebody to take your place. At the end of the day, I guess you could say it's dangerous because it's it ain't guaranteed unless you know how to really be in the game and then you know how to make it out the game before it get till you in there too. You feel me? Too deeply, too controlled. Type. Facts. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of off subject, but how do you think that has a parallel? Like, you being a football player, you being in college, you feel me, on your way to the NFL, you feel me? How do you feel like that correlates with the NFL? Because I could say the same about, you know, the NFL. They use what they can of you, and if they see you regressing before your big paycheck, they're going to get rid of you next man up type shit. So. I would say it's the same thing as it is in the league, but I feel like when it comes to the NFL – you get more of a, you get more of multiple avenues in the sense of when you a rapper you really gotta I guess you say you gotta hold a standard like you feel me some you see some rappers they out here they wearing skirts and dresses and they out here looking crazy why because at the end of the day they doing what make people hype what get people going type like yeah, yeah. Like, it's interesting when it comes to the league Sorry. you can't do so much you can you gotta have a certain standard at the same time when it comes to your voice you can have that but like Seriously, looking at it, they tell you that you can have a voice and it's free speech. But I mean, what's free speech when you can only say a limited amount of things? You feel me? So yeah. It's like, I guess it go. They all <laughs> hand in hand, but when it comes to which one, you feel me? It's probably harder or worse. It probably goes into probably rap, just because they don't really got. 
they don't really got a lot of say. Once they sign that contract, is your words is their words. Yeah, I feel it. Well, my viewpoint on it, I feel like it's yes and no. I feel like with uh, it depends on what type of artist you are to a degree because it's a lot of artists. Like, granted, any artist, any celebrity has any type of, like, you know, danger around them because everybody knows who you are and it's crazy people that, like, you know, they just want to try to get some money out of you or they want to do some shit. But I think in, in particular... Being a rapper is possibly one of the most dangerous careers because let's say you went to school with, I don't know, you went to school with this nigga and y'all was cool, or whatever. Y'all, maybe y'all didn't even get along. You feel me? Yeah. That person still has that same impression of you of when they went to school with you. So they thinking you the same person or whatever, or they thinking you changed up now that you got money or something like that. And that shit breeds jealousy. Cause not to mention like rap I think rap in today's age It's one of the most sought after Like careers cause anybody can pick up a microphone And like put some words together and come out with music So it's just like oh If I'm sitting next to this nigga and this nigga doing this With his music and like Why niggas ain't fucking with my shit like that You feel me? But I think that's our generation that has allowed that to, Like anybody could be a rapper Because mm. it, it didn't used to be so popular Like anyone could obtain it you could put your stuff on TikTok and blow up now. Yeah, but rap just came out like what in that eighties or seventies, so it wasn't that popular back then. Now it's becoming popular, so now that's like what our culture is seeing as like oh, like you know that's the cool thing now. So I don't feel like it's more of like you know a generational thing. I think it's just it just wasn't as popular back then. You feel me? I mean, as far as like. You don't have to have as much talent anymore, even though it's popular. Like a lot oh, of yeah. people are just becoming rappers. So oh, yeah. you had you have a group of ten guys that are want to be a rapper. Two of them popped off. But yeah. They were a group. Now you have eight people mad at you. But is it their fault that they popped off? Because everybody got the same opportunity to pop off. Like for example, like let's say if you know it's four of us right here and one of us a rapper and one of us pop off and the it's two of two of y'all man not they fault yeah no. <laughs> yeah it, it's, it's not they fault you feel me so that's why i'm just like you feel me that could be it could be one of the most dangerous but also i think a lot of artists do put it put the bad karma or whatever on themselves because at the time you thinking oh this shit is gonna send shock waves like if i say this on the song this shit is going, people going to be like, you know, it's going to be all in the blogs, but you're not thinking your words going to live forever. So let's say you did somebody who just died or whatever, right? To you, you just trying to, you know, make this hit or whatever. You trying to increase your numbers. Yeah, you might do it at that time, but three years down the road when you're not even thinking about that, that's still on somebody's mind because that's somebody loved one. That's somebody that people actually like fuck with. You feel me? So, yeah, I feel like <coughs> <laughs> to a certain extent, it could be like one of the most dangerous career. You just gonna say something? Oh, um, let me sneak in real quick. So, um, you being a rapper, have you ever had an experience or, well, I know you have because we did speak about this in the past, but would you say that you've had a lot of people who've done, um, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it. <laughs> but um should we cut for a break right now? You said what? Nothing. Um We're gonna cut for a break real quick. Okay. See you guys soon. And we back. Question. So you said with me being a rapper, what? Oh yeah, so with you being a rapper, do you feel um like you've had this happen to you a lot? Where you've had people display, like, or people have this expectation for you to be the same person and still do for them the same as you did before, or whatever the case may be. Like how you were saying before about putting yourself in that perspective. Let's take this shot first, because we <laughs> off, off the list. Man, let's get it. Damn, I took mine already. Damn, they <laughs> taking their shots without us and I shit. Know. That's crazy. That's crazy, Look, really. You know, I don't like alcohol. You wasn't get my ugly face again. You it be your own. That's okay. Niggas, we right. all in there. We can make a meme, and everybody will relate. You, you ain't, when like, you take that you shot ain't of tequila, my face. <laughs> yeah, I ain't getting nah, my but face. um, hold on, let me take this. 
You say have it happen. I think it's happened to not only just rappers. I think it happened to anybody that's successful in whatever the fuck they doing. It's always gonna be people that knew you from whenever the fuck. They gonna think, oh, you supposed to be the same motherfucker. But at the end of the day, as you elevate, you change your surroundings, you change how you move, you change how you operate in whatever situation. You feel me? No facts. I, I like agree. Everybody will do that shit. You feel me? Oh, excuse me. That's a good way to answer that. I like that. Yeah. So didn't you have another topic you was about to bring up when we during wait, the break? Wait, wait, wait. Mr. and Dean has something to say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you would you like to join us? Would you like to snuggle with us on the couch? Or you just wait, wait. Okay, that's fine. Hold on, man. Okay. No, <laughs> yeah, that's pause. not what I'm at CCC. Yeah. I'm just trying black people. We, you know, shit. Why can't we all be friends, link arms, and sing kumbaya or some shit? You can, but you just gotta say it a certain way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you can go. You can go to your next topic. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot no. what he was finna say. <laughs> you said you noted it though. And then he forgot it. I did. I think it was what when it comes to what being famous and yeah, like no, not even being famous, just being successful and like people expecting you to be the same person. You feel me? I felt okay. So when it comes to that, it's just you just really got to dial down to the fact that it's called opinion. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody got one. So it's like you gonna be fam- It's like you gonna be successful the same way how when you wasn't when you wasn't successful. Those same exact people was talking us. You feel me? They were. They liked you when you was at the same, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, But then as soon as you get up there, it's like, oh, not you. You elevated. You left them where they was. They they want you to be, you feel me, in 2016, 2014, however the case is. They want you to stay right there. Because when they elevate, when they graduate, how it go, they laugh at you when you don't. When you that kid who, stay, who get held back type, you feel me? All your friends laughing at you. But when yeah. you that kid who graduate early, everybody looking at you like, oh, you was smart? Oh, you... Yeah. yeah, you feel me? It's all—it's all a stigma. You feel me? It's all a stigma. It's all a, an opinion. Everybody got one, but at the end of the day, as long as you focus on yourself and understand that you lay in that casket by yourself, so you got to go exactly. get it by yourself. Then it's like it become easy. Yeah, like, I, I got a question. How yeah. often do you deal with that? Like with you chasing the football thing? How often do you deal with like people from where you came from? You feel me? Like kind of like looking at you as far as like, oh now, oh you the big football nigga now? Like you know I what can I mean? Tell you that. Going from someone who spent a lot of time in the JUCO scene yeah. and then going to finally being able to go to a university, I feel like those people that that I've met, those people that I've talked to, it's been a lot of people who didn't, oh, you just going to junior college, you feel me? You'll do them two years and then it's over with. You feel yeah. me? You'll do them two years and then you'll be working at nine to five. You'll do them two years and you'll be you'll be back where you was, you feel That's me, before. Yeah. You feel me, though? That's yeah, how yeah. it really be. But it's like I've learned, though, because... I've had to do it by myself. Like, I went to school in Kansas, so it's like, I'm from San Diego. So yeah. I had to apart from family, had to apart from friends. I didn't go to school with my friends. So it was like, I really seen, stepped back and really looked at those people. New people, everybody, new faces. You see people who, they look at you like, oh, you're from San Diego. So it's like, you, you, you're supposed to be a type of way. All oh, them California kids, they a type yeah. of way, you feel me? They look at us differently. But it's at the end of the day, I work harder than, than most people around me. So it's just... Yeah. I've heard the hate. I've heard the he ain't going to make it. I've heard the this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, I'm still going. Why yeah. the, Why all those people, what they doing is they working. They doing what they don't want to do in life, telling me that I'm not going to make it while I'm doing what I want to do. So it's like, yeah. you can tell me whatever you want, but unless you're on that field with me, and then you, you feel me, you dogging me, or you playing better than me, or you're the reason why I'm not doing as I should on the football field, then it's like your opinion can't really touch me because it's – you're not stopping me from getting my goals. You're just trying to get in my head. I get in my own head, so it's, I don't need yeah. you getting so <laughs> Yeah, like, for sure. You know? Now, I think that's important to tell the viewers and people that's going through a similar situation, no matter what you're doing, like, I think it's very important for you to, like, kind of, like, relay that message and say that because, believe it or not, somebody watching this bitch right now is going through a similar situation, if not the exact same situation, mm-hmm. just, you know, a different profession or something. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's real important for y'all to, like, you know, keep your head on. Don't listen to the outside voices because niggas will try to knock you off. And a lot of niggas do that shit strictly out of jealousy. You feel me? You got to be able to pick that shit up and just keep it moving. You feel me? Facts. But yeah, man. Well, on to the next time. We didn't mean to get deep and shit. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, we got to sometime. We got to talk to these niggas because we off, off the league, league man. Okay, yeah. so next topic, right? This is a little different than how we usually do our topics, I guess. 
Okay. So this is a situational topic, right? So if you guys were ever in the position, you know, a lot of people, if not everyone struggles with some type of like disapproval of themselves, whether it's like a mental thing, emotional thing, financial thing, physical thing, it's something, right? Mm -hmm. How, if you guys were in the position to be able to give someone constructive criticism on what they were struggling with or something that you felt like they should know or whatnot, would you, would you take that opportunity and how would you address that situation? And it could be a generalized statement because we're not trying to pinpoint anything specific. So are, are they comfortable with whatever that problem is or are they uncomfortable with that problem? Because that mm. could be... So to, let's see. Let me see if I can answer your question. They're comfortable to hearing, you know, what people have to say, but they might be uncomfortable with what is said. Uh, <laughs> that makes no sense. So <laughs> it's like people are open to hear co constructive criticism, but you see people who fight back because it makes them uncomfortable with what they heard. Then That's it, what I mean. Okay. So well. they, they, they thought they were okay with it, but didn't expect you to say that. So I'm saying, um, to answer your question, yes and no. Some some people may be comfortable with hearing the constructive criticism and actually like taking, but okay, thank you so much. And then some people hear the constructive criticism because they like to be, you know, hearing it. But you know, people be having stipulations for exactly what constructive criticism oh, is. Yeah. But um, anyways, they there are people like that who hear the constructive criticism and then they fight you back. But it's like mm, I thought you were open to it. So I don't know if that answers your question, but I feel like it does. I feel like <laughs> in a, in a situation to where somebody can't handle what you got to say, I feel like at that point you just got to let them be. Because so do it in an, in a, in like you don't even you. You can't say nothing because if what they if can't someone handle, did? What if someone was open to it and they're listening to them? To, okay, what yeah. would you say? Obviously, if they open to it, I would express to them like, hey, you feel me? Let's, for example, if it was somebody fat than a hoe, you feel me? And they, <laughs> and they wasn't comfortable with being fat than a hoe, you feel me? And I'm not fat shaming. I'm not saying somebody, you know, fat people are not happy with their body. I'm talking about if, it's, if a specific friend... Quit laughing, bro. I'm sorry. It's, it's just, a specific. Why are you, why are you defending no yourself? No one accused you. You did <laughs> right, not right. have to. You're it, cool. Hey. Like. We, we hear you. If you got a fat friend, right, and that's not comfortable with being so fat, you feel me? I could understand with, you know, you letting that person know, hey, you getting overweight. If they can listen to it. But if you don't know, it's good not to say nothing. You feel me? But yeah. Cause you don't know what their problem is. Maybe they can't control their weight. You feel me? Yeah. Or maybe you know something happened and they just got some type of eating disorder or some shit like that. You feel okay. me? I would say for me that because I am um, a mentor and a dance coach, that I've been hit with a lot of situations that made me puzzle and pray to God, like how should I respond to this? Um, but. Nine times out of ten, I choose to speak the truth because at the end of the day, I know that what I could say might help them. Sometimes they take it and they go, wow, thank you for bringing that up. Sometimes people just don't want to hear the truth. And so that's where I get scared because I'm like, it's still the truth. And even though there's a difference between truth and opinion too sometimes, so I try yeah. to really tread lightly on that. be honest <clears throat> I'm telling the truth and nothing but the truth but listen you gotta do so it so help me God you gotta you gotta <laughs> do you gotta do it in a certain you gotta do it in a certain manner like just put it the whole like big body thing like if you if you you have a big body that is <laughs> you, you, people ain't gotta tell you body. like oh you're big oh <laughs> da, 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 however the case is like if you can <laughs> be told like it's I'm trying to show my bad, but it's... <laughs> no, it's funny. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> it's just the fact that, like... Are we not fat shaming, by the way. Yeah. No, no, no. No not fat, fat shame. At the end of the day, it's you all love. You didn't have to say that. Yeah. Oh. At the end of the day, it's all love. But yeah, it's yeah. like... I guess when you really look at that, it's, it's something that you look at. Is is it hard to, to come up to, to come to someone and, and tell them, like... Or how should I come to somebody and say it? At the end of the day... You speak you speak the truth, but you ain't gotta put a twenty on a ten in the sense of you ain't gotta overdo it. You ain't yeah. gotta 
overtell somebody like you can I can tell you that I don't like your shoes without telling you blatantly your shoes is ugly. Like I can yeah. just tell you, oh, I don't like this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you can always, you feel me? You just, it just, you just gotta do it how you do it. Yeah, and it's all about how they take it too. Like you can say something and then somebody might take it well, but then there's a chance somebody don't take it well. But you can't be overly like you know trying to prove your point. Like bro, this shit lame as fuck. Like the fuck, you feel me? All right. Well, I have a question then. What's Since up? we're doing situational, wait. Yeah. Let me let me let me say my little two cents. Okay, okay. Because I didn't go. You know, oh. I gotta go last. <laughs> okay. Cause I like to listen to whatever I gotta say. So I heard what everyone says and I agree. Okay. Um, advice, like I feel like if you're not a person who can accept constructive criticism, because think about it, constructive criticism is um criticism used to uplift a person, not tear them down. So there's a difference. So when it's constructive criticism, if you're not open to it, then that's a problem. But don't make that someone else's problem. Like, don't go to someone for mm-hmm. advice if you can't handle what they're going to say because things could have just been left how they were. But you wanted to go explore, Dora. So okay. <laughs> I need you <laughs> to get with the program. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'm just so like I see it all the time like people be like oh I don't care what people say about me blah blah blah, blah and then oh. be hurt <laughs> when oh. people actually telling you things that's going to be helpful towards you if you actually like take the leap of faith and try it and then you go on a whole rant because it's just so upsetting that there are people out there that want to help uplift you in the best way that they can with words mm-hmm. I feel like but we struggle the most with that in the black community. Like all of this ties in, like even with the first topic of, you know, rappers, you know, being that being deadly, like that career being like one of the most deadly careers, because you're right. Who said it earlier? Like, it's just not promise. Like, you don't know. It's not no guarantee. It's no security. So all of this like ties into e- each other because in the black community, that's something that we strongly struggle with. Like, we have a lack of community, and it fucking sucks, but one day we're going to get it together. <laughs> one day. I hope the walking dead don't happen, because... Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. What are we talking about? <laughs> what do you mean wait, by that? Wait, what the fuck is she talking about? What do you mean by that? <laughs> but God, I'm saying, I'm saying, wait. like, ain't nothing bad happening, really, and black people are already killing each other. So, like, you know, what happens when there's some, like, I'm apocalypse? I'm killing zombies off that. Right, but I'm saying... No matter the we, color, the size. We need to build our community now, so when shit like that happens, <laughs> the black people are the last one standing. That's fine, but if you're what? black and a zombie, you're getting shot. <laughs> hey. Reverse history, baby. Hey, what are we Reverse talking about? <laughs> if you're black and a zombie, like, you're getting shot. She is high. No, she if you're white high. and a zombie, <laughs> you're getting shot. If no. you're Asian, yeah. listen, 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 okay? This is what happens I'm asking y'all a real question. I'm asking y'all a real question. And this is not against no specific race, but y'all, do you, how many fucking um, <laughs> uh, zombie moves have y'all seen where if it's you're all, a zombie? Wait, hold you're on, listen, listen to the question. <laughs> how many, how many have y'all seen that, um, you know, th- all the cast is black? <laughs> zombie movies? Zombie Wait, movie shows. Oh, we on we on zombie movies. So now? my whole okay, point is, we need sure. to build our fucking community because y'all not listening to what I'm saying. You so know, we, that we can be the last ones alive. Yes, <laughs> because guess who came? Because <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Only black black people. We need to we need to rule until the very fucking end. So we need to build our fucking community now. We need to stay strong. <laughs> we need to uplift each other. We need to give each other sound advice that's gonna make us all grow because ain't nothing to get a dollar, baby. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So when something something tragic <laughs> happens, black people finally so standing on top. was the tragic thing. And that, that you know, yeah, like, I, I'm watching. Okay, I'm watching Z this Nation no right now, y'all. Movie. I'm watching Z Nation right now. It's a TV show on Netflix. You should really watch it. I was up till six o'clock watching it this morning. I really wanted to watch that. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Please, you're gonna binge watch it. But that's why I said apocalypse because I was like, oh shit, that that really sucks because the black person dies like the second episode. And I'm like, that's crazy because where was the community? Please, <laughs> hey, please excuse me, guys. I don't know what we're talking about, but 
I, I know y'all confused as fuck. No, you feel me? No. So, hey, hey, smoke y'all a blunt or drink, and y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. no cap though. Like honestly, the whole thing about the whole uh, how black people be dying quick when she was like the black person died in the second uh, episode of the, of the show or the movie or whatever. Yeah. Personal theory, I believe that black people die quick in movies because if they last long, they already know that the movie wouldn't go long because we figured it out. We, exactly. we ain't going, a lot of things exactly. that these people be, I ain't going to say who, but these people be doing, Bro, we're like, not doing. Yeah, I'm not right. hearing somebody get slammed in the back of the alley and I want to go, mm, let's go see. Oh God, let's split no, up, guys. Let's, let's, let's split, split up, up and go investigate. What exactly. are you investigating? I'm mad. Come on. Yeah. Why do you think every time you see the movies, even the, even the all black people movies, even the all black people, they gotta force it. They gotta yeah. force them. They gotta force just, you to go look at something. I'm oh, just God. saying, like, I would like to see it. <laughs> Someone produce it. <laughs> you know? Hey, all I know is if I'm ever. If we in so scary, strong, boy, all I know somebody is produced the movie where they move the fuck out. You said what? As, as soon as they hear some shit, they as move the fuck oh, out. Oh, yeah, for sure. See how they life is. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> see how their life is after this, I'm just gonna go take over that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, anybody who got the next topic? No, well, yeah. she was gonna ask the question, right? Oh, okay, for sure. Oh snap! Oh, okay, so the question was related to your question. Okay, and it was situational, but it was a situation. <coughs> so, what if you had a friend come up to you, and they was like, "Oh my god, girl, I just got body sculpting done, and that's not invasive, right? It's not like surgery. They're not getting nothing done, mm-hmm. but they want their body to look a certain way, right?" But every time you see them, they're eating a large pizza to themselves. Right. Chili cheese fries to themselves. But you know they're struggling with money. Right. What do you say to them? Who wants to tackle that first? Nose goes. I'll go last. <laughs> she <laughs> goes last because it's her topic. What do you mean? All right. All right. I guess I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, I'll you just set the tone. My set the <laughs> I just mind my business at the end of the day, you feel me? It is what it is. I swear to God, I just be like, all right, cool. Because you, you got to realize, bro, a lot of people don't have the same work ethic that we might have, you feel me? Some A lot of people might not have that drive to do shit. And you just got to realize, like, certain people are where they are for a reason. Facts. That's no different. Facts. That's no different from, okay, let's say, like, somebody that's, like, you know, um... How can I put this? Okay, I'm going to say, just speaking my example, right? I got homies that's still in the hood. It's not because, oh, they don't have the talent to, like, play play a sport or they don't got the talent to, like, actually do music. It's just they drive is just, like, not there. Like, they don't give a fuck. They comfortable with staying where the fuck they is. They might say, like, oh, yeah, you know what? One of these days I'm going to get my shit together. But how many... 50 year olds you can go back to the hood right now and talk to and they still be like oh yeah well i could have got my shit together but you feel me right so uh, a lot of people just where they are because of their choices so a lot of times you can want to help somebody but it's kind of like a waste of fucking time if you like to like tell them like when they like doing something that's contradicting what they said they was gonna do right you feel me that's just my opinion and my experiences. That's facts. Um, I can say, I can say if it's one of my friends and you're over here eating pizza, yet you're over here getting your body done, yet you ain't doing nothing to really get your body done, I ain't going to lie. I might slap that pizza out your hand. You feel me? Depending on how close we is, I might, I might slap it out your hand and we just might have to box. We're going to see how tired you get quick. Like, you're going to get tired before I do. So it's oh, like... Man. And I just look at it like, though, like how you were saying um, it's a drive. You can't force nobody to do nothing. Like, exactly. I was always taught, like, I could take the camel to the well, but I can't make them drink the water. Yeah. So it's like, I could tell you 20 times, like, hey, bro, let's go work out. Like, you don't want to work out by yourself. Okay, that's what's your excuse. Now, I'm going to do it with you, and I don't want to. So it's like, yeah. we're here together. But if you really don't want to, and it's like, you rather just go shape your body up, but you still eating, it's like... I ain't going to lie, we wouldn't be friends for that long because what I want to do with myself and what I want to do with my life is like, you clearly, you don't respect me enough as a friend to even want to be a part of what I got going on. So it's like, if you're really my homie, you would want to be in the same light that I'm in at the same time. I would want to be enough of your friend to at least help you try to get out of it. If I can't help you, we ain't really homies and we just both wasting each other's time. Damn. That was a good way of putting that shit. You said tough. blocked after that. 
<laughs> um, <clears throat> so I would like to say my little thing. My bad, y'all. <clears throat> so I love when my hand like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vocals. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, so yes. Um. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> Man, that made me forget what I was about to say. What were we even talking about? Like, hold on, let me draw back. Body's still getting pizza. Yes, okay. So, how I feel about that is I can only do so much as a friend. Um, if you come to me with a problem and I listen and I am understanding and I just am giving you like the realistic outlook on it. You can only take it however you want. But as a friend, if you know that I care about you and I love you and I will never harm you or say anything to make you feel less of yourself, then you wouldn't take what I'm saying wrong. Now, um, I can do my best to do motivating things like, hey, girl, or hey, um, guy, you know, you want to go hiking on Sunday or you trying to um, go to the gym with me? Like I got a guest pass or I got a gym in my apartment or, you know, you want to walk to go get some coffee? Like, yeah, it's not like a lot, but it's something. That's what I can offer. I can't say put down the damn pizza. Stop coming to me and complaining. You got money problems. Oh, well, I'm tired of hearing it. Like, that would be a fucking horrible friend. So I wouldn't do that. But don't don't use my time now. <laughs> don't keep coming to me about the same thing. Because, you know, my giving only goes so far. You ever hear that same people be like, you give them like an inch and they take a mile or whatever? Yeah. That's true. You really give people this much, like what you can give them, and they want to they wanna take from it. So, like, you don't come to me with the same problem because... Then I'm eventually just going to have to shut it down. Like, hey, you know, I, I've tried de- these things to, you know, help you get, like, get it in your head. Like, you know, you want to change physically, but you can't do this because you also have money issues. And if you're not, um, if you're not getting that, I, we can't talk about this anymore. But I, I'm willing to help you in other areas in your life that just isn't related to this because I feel as though you're not... You don't have no value in what I'm saying. And that would just be it. Like, we can still be friends, but I would just put that on the table and they didn't want to be friends because of that. At least I took the mature route about it and tried everything I could into the very end to be a good friend. (laughs) There you go. It's your turn. (laughs) (laughs) I will say that... This actually happened to me. (laughs) And I told the person the truth and in a very loving way. And I was just like, um, three things need to happen. We stop spending money on our body sculpting and start working out. Or we stop eating the pizza. Or we continue living the way we are. But something has to change if you don't like it. And then they rebuked me in the name of Jesus. (laughs) Damn. <laughs> <And> Damn. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. So that's why I just be like, I don't know. Sometimes, that's why I said nine out of ten. Nine out of ten times people go with it and then the other chance they don't. So I just wanted to see what anybody else would have done in this situation. Hmm. I feel it. Well, if there's no more topics, that concludes today's episode of the Off the League podcast because we. Off the league, man. But yeah, wait, wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. Shout out to Lizzie with the Glizzy for bringing her guest. I'm gonna let her guest introduce herself again and give y'all her Instagram. It's Adonna, and you can follow me at Queen Adonna Three on Instagram or Queens in Training Three because that's where we keep it lit. Period. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh-huh. go to our right. off the camera guests. It's MD. I ain't gonna tell you my name because you're gonna keep it mysterious, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can follow me on the gram at that man MD10. Now we ain't mysterious. <laughs> yes, sir. Hope everybody stay blessed. You feel me? Have a good one, and I appreciate y'all for having us on. Yeah, yes. for sure. Okay, Anything? and you guys already know how to follow me, but if you don't, and if you're a new person watching, thank you for your time. Um, my Instagram is goddess of peace underscore, and so is my um, no, that's it. 
Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and as y'all know, it's your boy King Emery, man. King Emery the Third is my Instagram. Also, we in the works. We haven't confirmed, but we in the works of Lizzie with the Glizzy starring in a motion picture style music video. But we're gonna we're gonna keep that, you know, under lock. You feel me? Stay on the lookout. MIA Antisocial coming out January 15th. And also as you guys can see, we have upgraded. We're starting our little upgrades with our okay, little, we trying, you know, our little we podcast or whatever. You so we're trying to give y'all good quality. Yes, sir. So we are going to continue to upgrade. So you're going to see more changes um, in growth because if you have a business, you have something you're passionate about, keep growing. Yeah. Keep going. Exactly. And with that being said. Without further ado, we out this hole. <laughs> Pouring the phone so the sleep I can't fight it Locked in my mode, I feel like I'm indicted All turning cold and I think that I like it Look at my drip, got these hoes all excited They try to kill me, the fire ignited And I beat the bullet, these niggas ain't like me They think I'm a demon, I'm really enlightened When I hit the block, I hit harder than Tyson Pouring the phone so the sleep I can't fight it